10 seconds left. Am I gonna make it? Five seconds. Three, two, one. Woohoo! Made it. The Marwell Raid. Let's go. Well, that's not what I wanted to show you guys. Hi. Hi to all of you. Yes, I made it to Taiwan. Yep, I was here in Taiwan. I arrived to Taiwan actually three days ago. Tonight is going to be quite interesting because I am going to meet the Pokemon Go Ape or uncle or grandpa of Taiwan. So yes, I'm heading to the meeting point right now to meet up with him and his group as I've already connected with one of the community leaders here through my Taiwanese friend Zess, who was playing Pokemon Go in Singapore around two years ago and he managed to link me up with his community over here. So I'm gonna meet up with the Pokemon Go grandpa, the one who plays with 40 phones on his bicycle and I'm gonna have a chat with him together with the community <laughs> and it's gonna be quite interesting as you guys will see later on. Anyway, I need to fight the Mawa now. And from a distance, we can see a crowd forming because there's an uncle over there on a bicycle with more than 40 phones on it, I think. Yeah, look at that, it's so cool. Oh my god, it's amazing. So that is the uncle with more than 40 phones on his bicycle. I'm gonna sneak up on him and see if he <laughs> knows what's going on. Oh, no. Hey, 我也有玩啊<笑> 啊,伯伯,你現在玩的是幾家呢?45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45。45
，抓吧抓吧，你们快点抓啊！你看几只几只手在这里也抓不完呢、啊，抓不完呢、啊，这里还没抓完呢、啊，这里还没抓完呢、啊。这里呀、啊，来，快点抓，快点抓！这里，这里，这里，你看有小狗也是要抓，你看，这里，这里，这里，这里来，这里全部抓吧，全部啊，乱丢了，乱丢了，快点乱！你看这里还很多啊，没抓完呢、啊，快点啊！波波，你要示范给他们看你怎么抓的。<笑>伊那囡仔真厉害个呀！你看，真紧呢，就是你看，你看，有，呃，打到关呢，不要打到关，来抓吧抓吧，这里都还没抓，你看，这里来，小狗，这里来，抓吧抓吧。It's just truly amazing, truly fascinating. Although language is a bit of an issue right now with me and Popo, but I'm trying my best to communicate with him, and I'm trying to think of questions and translate to his language in Hokkien to try to talk to him because my Hokkien isn't that good. Mandarin is substandard. English is still not perfect, also. Um, so yeah. <laughs> but it's kind of fun to see this happening, though. Don't hit it! Don't hit it! Look! 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 继续抓，快点！继续抓，你看这里还有鱼啊，你看还没抓完呢、啊。哎呦，快点，快点，快点！这里你看，你看，在等你抓啊，没有球了，怎么办？怎么办？要转战了，要转战，转战这里。哎，你要跑掉先，你要跑啊，然后你转这个战，转了就有球拿。来这里转，这样子吧。然后你转，啊，你这样子转，啊，球出来了，你看有几粒球，然后你再继续抓吧。来这里，啊，来试试看。See, this is how you entertain the kids with forty-five phones and Pokemon for them to catch. On a bicycle. <laughs> they don't understand what I'm saying. <laughs> but it's cool. One na, one na, zwa, zwa. Popo, you all these numbers and your phone number. How much? 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 22 kg, all right, worth of mobile phones and power bank. Yeah, tell me this is not hardcore. Tell me. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, just a bit of correction. It's actually 5 kg for the mobile phones, 15 kg for the phone stands and everything, and not too sure how heavy for the power bank. So just add another 10 kg for the power bank. So that's 30 kg worth of stuff to play Pokemon Go. 45 uh, phones to play Pokemon Go. <laughs> This is the first one. So, Popo is using a magnifying glass because he can't really see the IDs of the account well. So, I actually asked him if I could take a look at his very first account. And he's trying to figure which is the one. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, so he's saying that this is his very first account. Started on 
the 14th of September 2016 48 million XP yeah okay okay so he has not been to any events okay yeah a lot of spins though a lot of spins yeah. <笑>你可以幫我跟他講其實我玩的樂趣也是不一樣的對對我我想講一下吧我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一下我想講一
平，跟住我就睇一支，好好好，嗰度將作新固定嘅作用就叫。即係冇做嗰只拉花條，我只拉等緊等緊。嘿 ，so because the whole entire setup is like twenty kg, uncle he actually has this. It's like a steel which he slot into this hole here, so you can support the whole entire weight of the phone and the phone holders, so that the bicycle does not collapse. <laughs> yeah, amazing. Now he's going to sit here. Hmm. Okay. So this is how he actually sets up his stilts, so that it supports the bicycle, so that he. Basically, does not need to hold a bicycle at all. And now the bicycle can stand on its own. See, amazing. Very good. Very good. Very good. Yeah. Smart, yeah. That's how he manages all this. <laughs> so well, another thing I noticed about Pepe or Bobo is that he is really generous. He's really, really just letting anyone who wishes to just try out the game to play the game. In fact, just now when I was there, there were a few people who were asking him like. Or asking him, or asking them, or asking us, um, what game is this? Like genuinely, not what I just did, but they were asking like, what game is he playing or we are playing, and we were telling them that this is Pokemon Go, and we asked them whether do they play Pokemon Go at all. Some of them do not, and they asked if they could try, and he allowed them to try the game. Pretty amazing, pretty awesome, and this is the kind of spirit, this is the kind of passion, this is the kind of people that. We want to have here in this community in Pokemon Go. Okay, 好了 Okay, 再见了谢谢谢谢谢谢 Bye bye. Bye bye. And wasn't that amazing to see Ape or Pepe play Pokemon Go on 45 mobile phones? I mean, it is truly amazing to see someone of his age at the age of 70 playing the game so passionately and also being so dedicated towards the game of course not forgetting that he is also very dedicated to help the community so my friend Ai told me that it takes Pepe roughly 30 minutes to prepare all his 45 mobile phones to leave his house so that meetup was actually specially arranged by my friend he actually contacted Pepe to ask him if he could actually meet up with me and Pepe kindly agreed to that so that's why we were able to meet up and we were supposed to meet from 7 to 9 p.m. However, I arrived an hour late and I reached there at 8 p.m. But Pepe was kind enough to stay on for two hours till 10 p.m. So the thing is, Pepe, he is working as a Taoist Feng Shui master in the day, but by night he turns into a Pokemon master. I know a lot of you guys and I understand that from the developer's point of view, this is breaking the TOS terms of services. However, to see someone playing the game with 45 mobile phones is just truly remarkable. I mean, think about this. Just try even to handle 10% of what he is handling. Four mobile phones. To do anything, regardless whether is it Pokemon Go or to like use it for whatever purpose. To me, there are many levels of hardcore or craziness in the game and this is just one of it. It's been known that many people actually play Pokemon Go with multiple devices. I mean, even the developer acknowledges it when they tweeted about Xiaomi, the dual app mobile phone that most people use to play two accounts on one mobile phone, they actually acknowledge that it's kind of an error on their part or whatsoever due to the game turbo feature boosting system. But that just kind of tells me that the developer knows about this. But I know a lot of you guys are still gonna say that it is breaking the TOS. But let's just say someone comes up to me and shows me an account that he or she has with 50 lucky shiny 100% IV legendary Pokemon I will be impressed and even if that person tells me that that person is a spoofer you know download flying app and he plays with that and he managed to obtain that hey I will still be impressed think about this 
What are the odds of getting a lucky, shiny, legendary from a tree? And to get 50 of that, it's still remarkable. But I mean, it's still breaking the TOS, right? And yeah, Niantic obviously uh, wouldn't uh, be happy about it. To me, it is just sad that the developer of this game, Pokemon Go, does not condo the use of multi-accounts and even multi-devices. Unlike previous games that i played in the past, like Clash of Clans, a lot of the top YouTubers of Clash of Clans and even Clash Royale, they actually use multiple accounts and multiple devices not only to play the game, but also to put on live stream and even to put on YouTube to showcase how they actually play with different accounts on different level, on different playing field, and also, you know, just showing people different ways of playing the game. But, sad to say, this is kind of a different game and the developer of this game that we are playing, Pokemon Go, doesn't um, condo that. But to be very honest, from a business point of view, when people use multiple accounts and multiple devices to play the game, the company, the developer, they earn much more money than just one person playing one account. That is the truth. We all know that playing on multiple devices, multiple accounts have its benefits such as you are able to take down a raid boss, a difficult raid boss by yourself or even just in a smaller group. And also, it even makes it possible for some rural players to take down the raid boss on their own. Well, if we look from the ethical point of view, some people will say that people who use multiple accounts have an advantage over those who do not use multiple accounts when it comes to taking down of gyms or even having a chance to get a shiny or 100%. So the thing is, of course, for those people who are using multiple accounts or multiple devices, you guys don't want to be douchebags and go around taking gyms down easily and preventing other trainers from taking the gym down to receive their rewards. So as long as those people who are using multiple accounts do not go around and say, hey, you know, I'm going to go around and take gyms down every night because I have so many devices and I can do it alone versus someone who cannot do that. And also do not go around like say, hey, you know, my... 50th account has just gotten a shiny Lunatone, my 38th account just got a shiny uh, Taurus, my 25th account just got a shiny Giratina or something like that. Telling people that they have gotten this shiny, that shiny or that 100% or whatsoever from any of their sub accounts, I think it's fine. That's my take because think about this, when you use multiple accounts, the chances of you getting a shiny or 100% from a raid is multiplied by the number of folds of the number of devices that you actually use. So I've always felt and noticed that a lot of people actually start playing multiple accounts or the second account or third account after they have hit level 40 on their very first account because that is the level cap, right? And Niantic isn't going to release the level cap anytime soon. So in order for them to have a fresh start, a brand new start, they decided to have another account. Start from the scratch again. Start from the very start and work their way to level 40 again. And when raids were released, well, they realized that their second, their third, their fourth, their fifth, their sixth, or whatever number of accounts that they have came as a benefit to them when they were able to take down the raid bosses by themselves or perhaps in just a smaller group. Of course, there are also other benefits. When trading was introduced into the game, they realized that having their sub accounts, their second, their third, their fourth, or fifth account catching a shiny or catching whatever Pokemon that their main account did not get or even hatching a shiny baby, they have a chance of trading that shiny from their sub account to their main account. In my opinion, you can play this game Pokemon Go in whatever manner you want. As long as you are having fun, as long as you are playing the game and not impacting anyone else, any other trainers gameplay or life or whatsoever in a negative manner. The saying goes though, rules are meant to be broken and it's when rules are set, that's when a little bit of the fun is taken away. So I'm not here to encourage anyone to use multiple accounts or break the terms of services, but I'm just giving my stance, my, a neutral standpoint on what I feel about this. If the developer decides to do something about this, I think they also would have to do something with probably mm, more than 80% of the population of the players who are playing this game. Because I guess that's the percentage of people who are playing this game who have ever broken TOS in one way or another. Of course, I myself have broken the terms of services too, be it selling of Mewtwo services or even using multiple accounts or whatever things, of course not spoofing. But 
I'm very very confident to say that at least at least 90% of the trainers the people who play Pokemon Go have ever broken the terms of services before be it spoofing or be it multiple account or be it using a map or be it getting information of a 100% spawn or a rare spawn from your friend I mean think about this if your friend were to tell you say hey there is a 100% chancy like over there and then you went for it aren't you like indirectly using the map because your friend got the information from a map telling you that there's a 100% chancy over there and you went to get it because he used a map and maps are scanners maps are scanners that are being used by bots or spoofing apps or whatsoever to actually look for this 100% spawns yeah there is no foolproof method or way to actually you know play this game like without breaking the rules it's a game after all just have fun why set rules so anyway I just don't want to end off this video with me ranting about all this TOS or terms of services thing because I know a lot of you guys will be putting in the comment section down below about Pepe, you know breaking the terms of services or whatsoever but all I can say is to me this is just super duper hardcore because come on have you guys seen anybody play Pokemon Go on 40 or even 30 or 20 devices uh, maybe but <laughs> not like Pepe this kind of manner you need you know on a bicycle like cycling around with like 30 kilograms worth of equipment to play the game yeah hats off to him like at his age I mean if I'm at his age I don't even think I have the energy or even have the mental capacity to do such a thing. So anyway, this is just one part of my time being here in Taiwan. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video of me showing you guys how one of the craziest, if not the craziest Pokemon Go trainer here in Taipei plays the game. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to, uh, you guys know what to do. I don't even need to say. And hopefully you guys have already done it. Do leave a like. And also to let me know in the comment section down below if you know of any people who use multiple devices or whatsoever or even if you guys uh, want to just state how many accounts or how many devices you, do you guys use go ahead to put it down in the comment section down below don't worry you guys won't have your accounts being compromised or whatsoever because um, your YouTube channel IGN and your in-game IGN should be different so uh, I'm not here to fish information from you guys so that Niantic could like suspend or ban your accounts like what hmm, they did. I would like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.